Welcome to this video in which we will create a wagtail sign in multiple languages. There are basically two ways to do this. First, you can translate every model in several languages. Second, you can translate every page in several languages. We will go with the second option and there is a package for that which is called Wagtail Trans. So let's install that. Put it into our install apps and in our requirements. Let's change this as well because the editor is complaining here. And Wagtail is 2.9. And we have to install it in our install apps. Base.py. Let's see what we have to do here. Install apps, we have to add three things here. Model admin, settings, and Wagtail trends. So let's do that here. That's that. And then we have to go to middleware, where we have to add Wagtail trends, middleware, translation, middleware. Here. And it says that it depends on site middleware, which is below here. So we have to put that one before. Right before. And then the second should be session middleware, site middleware, translation middleware, common middleware. So we're fine here. But it also mentioned that it is a replacement of local middleware. So we should comment this one. And there's one more setting that we have to add, and it has to do with languages. Let's put that one here. Um, I'll explain that because it's in settings. And if we go down there, then we see it here, Wagtail Trans Height Translation Trees. What it does is Wagtail will display all the pages of all the languages, and this gets a bit busy on the admin. So what this setting does, it basically just uh, shows one uh, page, which is the default language page, and all the other pages are hidden behind a separate button. So we'll use that. Now it's also time to say goodbye to our Wagtail homepage. So let's go to the models.py of the Wagtail homepage and comment this out because we are going to create a new translatable homepage. Let's go over to migrate to database. There is the deletion of the home page. Migrate and run our server. Go to our page. Now, there is still the home page, but if we refresh this, then it should be gone. Yes, it is. Go to admin. Log in with our super user account. And go to pages. And if we click here, then we can see that there is, this is the root level, which is the level where the pages are not shown, this is not shown, but this is the root of the whole tree, so to speak. And we want to change that because we want to have a translatable root. So we should add a new child page here. And it immediately goes into the um, model because there basically is only one model, which is the translatable site root page, which is provided by Wagtail Trends. So let's call this translatable root. There's nothing else that we can do here, so just publish this, and then we have the root that we want. Now we see with the little globe here that this is still the root of the tree, so we want to change that. We have to do that in sites. Go over to sites, there's one site, which is okay, and here we can see that the root page of that site is the 
home page that we just saw. So we want to change that to translatable root. Now it is changed, save it, and now if we go to pages, then if everything goes all right, then yes, here is a little glove, which means that this is now our new root. And then just to make sure that we don't confuse ourselves in the future, we are going to delete this one because we don't need it anymore. And now the root is all set up. So let's go and create some um, pages. For that, we have to um, stop the server. So let's do that. And we are going to create a separate app which will hold all our pages. So let's create an app. Which is called CMS. We add this in our settings. Go over to installed apps, which is here. And in the models.py, here it is, in the models.py of this new app, we are going to put a very simple homepage model, which is going to look like this. Uh, it just consists of one class homepage, which subclasses from translatable page. Now this is different from what Wagtail normally is doing. Here introduction of in the introduction of Wagtail, it is very well described how we could set up such a page. And basically we've done almost exactly the same, except that Wagtail subclasses from page and Wagtail trans subclasses from translatable page. We have one field intro, which is a rich text field. And there is content panel, which allows us to edit this field in admin. We import the field panel, the rich text field and the translatable page. And with this, our model is complete. Now we create a template, which is done in the usual way. File templates slash CMS slash home, home underscore page dot HTML. Uh, this is explained in the Wagtail docs. Um, it always is done in such a way that if the model is named home page with a capital P in the middle, then everywhere where there's a capital, there should be an underscore in the template name. And uh, we also put it in templates slash CMS to make sure that Django can find it. Um, CMS templates CMS. And then we have, have to add this path to our settings. So let's do that in templates here. Well, we just copy this and here we change this into CMS and this also into CMS. Now Django will be able to find these templates. Over to the template again and let's paste in some content. A very simple template which extends from base.html, which is our file that we've used before as a base template, then we load Wagtail core tags. I'll explain that in a minute. And then we add a body class, which allows for individual styling of this page if we need to. And then the content block, which is always there, is here as well. And we fill it with one container, which contains a title and an intro, the intro that we've just created. Title is always a standard field from any page. So we can use that here as well. And then we use a tag rich text which is part of the Wagtail core tags library and which um, does the appropriate styling for a rich text field. Now that we've created the model, we can migrate the database. There we are. And run the server. and go over to our admin. Now what we still have to do is to add the languages because we haven't done that yet. So if we go to settings, then to languages, then you see that we have the English language here, but we should add the other languages as well. So let's add French, uh, not going to be the default. It is behind the English language as a second. And then we're going to add Dutch as well. Dutch, and it's going to be number three in a row. 
So save it and then everything is okay. Okay, let's go back to pages again, to our translatable root. And now we can add a, change, a child page, which is, there's only one type of page, which is the home page. So let's call this Python is still and put some content here. And then we can publish this. Now, if we look carefully, then you can see that there is a button added in here, which gives us the possibility to edit this page in the other languages. And this is the setting that I referred to earlier on, which hides this, these languages behind this little submenu. So let's do this in French. Paste in the French text. And let's do the same for Dutch. And save it. Now if we go to the home page, then we also still see the English page. And we also see that Wagtail has created its own URL for the home page, which might be okay for the English page, but which is certainly not okay for the others because it's difficult to find the other pages in the other home pages in the other languages. So let's go there to the admin and see what that is. Going to the Dutch page, let's go to the French page. Um, you can see that the URL here is like this, which is a bit too complicated. So let's change that and into the language code, which makes it much easier in the future to find this homepage in French. And we'll do the same in English. Change that into the English language code. And similarly in Dutch. Now when we go to, for example, the home page again, then you can see that the slug here is just the language code and now it's easy to find the French page. It's just putting in the language code. That's it for now. See you next time.